Fellow Warriors, how's going? This is Kesson. Welcome back to the Dynasty Warriors 5 Empires. Alright, so get ready because this will be the final playthrough of this game. Since we are about to face the last scenario, the Gathering Heroes. Yeah, apparently Flames over Chubby is the last scenario. I already checked. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, 3, 4, 5, uh, technically 6, 5, I will say 5 scenarios. Only 5 scenarios we, uh, they have this game. Alright, so let's go with Gathering Heroes. Okay, so the Gathering Heroes, what it is, uh, for some of you who might not know, I always like to speak in favor of people who don't know the game, who have not played the game. I know lots of you did, but sometimes some people haven't, so... Right, uh, basically we can create our own faction, we can create as w whichever faction we want. We can utilize the characters that we have unlocked during our last playthroughs, as you guys can see. We don't have every single character available. We only got characters uh, who we have uh, unlocked during the, the past playthrough, so it kind of sucks, I know, kind of sucks. Because theoretically, you're supposed to have every character you want, but I mean, this game requires you to unlock everything manually. Uh, it's a bit of a bitch, I know. So yeah, if you want to make a customized scenario with a character you want, you have to first unlock it by playing as him. All you need to do is basically play as the character you want uh, you want to get in any scenario. So I mean, it's not gonna be hard, but that's what you have to do. Just put up. Just, if you want to unlock the characters fast, just play novice difficulty, and boom, you're done. There we go. There we go, I said it. Play novice difficulty if you want to unlock every character. So, yeah, we will start our new scenario in... Uh, uh, where can we start? I mean, let's start in Lu Yang. What the fuck not? I mean, guess who's gonna be the ruler? Saki, of course. Of course she's gonna be the fucking ruler. What do you think? Look, uh, unfortunately, I, I cannot uh, expand my territory. It's not like uh, eight empires where you you can make your territory bigger. No, we, we, you, we can only start with one piece of territory. Unfortunately, I cannot... Uh, I was planning to have my Kessen to a uh, faction, but it's not gonna be possible. Not uh, now. We need to get them with time, so... What are we going to do? I would love to have Lubu, obviously. I mean, it will be stupid not to have Lubu. It will be absolutely dumb. And Gacha, of course. I mean... The Archer, my favorite character. Why, why the fuck I shouldn't have it? Right, as an NPC, we should use uh, NPCs that we have used before. If you guys, you guys may, maybe need to remember uh, which NPC you have used the most. I remember Lydian is one of the, uh, is one of them. Ao Zhao, because he's my favorite. Uh, I don't remember. Well, I kind of remember which one I use. I want to use Guo. I'm not gonna lie. Where's Lidra? I'm not sure. I might use Lidra. Where is he? Oh, I'm not unlocked him. Damn it. Damn it. I'm not unlocked Lidra. Then, um, oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. We could probably go with Matang. What the hell not? Oh, Sufe. Yeah, Sufe is one of one of uh, the NPC I used a lot. Shusheng as well. The choice is pretty vast. <clears throat> But I might go with Guose because I do like Guose. So you guys know I am uh, a Donjo faction simp. I'm also an ha Hao Zhao simp. I'm not a, a Legion simp, but he's one of my strongest NPC. So uh, I will go with him. Right, we made our first territory. We can theoretically customize uh, other territories. But you know what I'm gonna do? Since I want uh, my Kessen, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna put them here. My, all my my Kessen, I'll just give them one territory each, only one officer. It's the only thing we can do to get uh, the officers that we want, I'm afraid. Uh, we have no choice. I would love to have Pong the death in late, so we're gonna put him here. I really, what, what the hell, it would be stupid not to not to have Pong there. And uh, let's see, Luo Luo. Yeah, let's go with Lolo and uh, Sao Bu. It's Sao Sao's uncle, by the way. All these cartes are from Kessin 2. So, there will be another chance for us to play as the Kessin 2 uh, scenario. Don't worry. But it's, apparently, it's not gonna be this this one because look at it. Look at what we have to do. 
We need she need to do some stupid shit. And oh, it's it's kind of unbelievable. All uh, right, I think I'm alright with this uh, with this setup. Um, the rest, if we leave them empty, they will basically uh, the game will create. Uh, Fa RNG factions. So let's go with Saki. Uh, our difficulty. No, no, fuck Kales. I'm sorry. I'm done with Kales. Two playthroughs were enough for me. I'm sorry. We can now decide to take in first capital gains. All areas that force controls. We can either isolate, uh, isolate, or no. See, a force is not destroyed even if you take its capital. Or taking a force capital after isolating, it gains all areas that forces controls. So only if you isolate, basically. Honestly, I will always go with ruler personally, otherwise if you select those two, it's just gonna be annoying, really. The game will get very annoying. Officers, that, yeah, why not? Um, I guess we are cool experience, yes, we will uh, go with the experience. And let's start the last scenario. We must end the chaos. It seems impossible, but we must do our best. Uh, what the fuck happened? I think that my game uh, got stuck. Oh, great. Oh, well, I had no choice but to basically escape the cutscene. Unfortunately, this is like a, a bug that always occur in Dynasty Wars 5 uh, for the PS2 in, in the emulator. Basically, the game just freeze when you play a certain uh, uh, cut certain cutscene in the in the game. I don't know. It's it's also in the in the in Dynasty Wars 5 vanilla as well. Uh, I am aware of this problem and I don't know how to fix it. I don't even think there's a fix. Maybe in a, in a new emulator, but. It's, it's 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 very minor anyway, right? Uh, let's increase our troops with um, Misaki. Let's have her uh, having max troops. Okay, she got max troops. So as you can see, I don't worry. I've made basically the same scenarios. I put Imiko on Shu Chang because she she actually visited Shu Chang during uh, Tsao Rui's reign. Himiko, if any of you don't know, um, Himiko actually goes to. Uh, pay her respect to to Tsarui. Yeah, if you, it's actually well, this is this is basically historical records. But that's what we know about Himiko and her connection with Shu Chang and China. Does she actually go visit China? Okay, uh, the first guy that we're going to get is probably going to be maybe Pongda. Yeah, Pongda will definitely be a good choice. So. Uh, Let's uh, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go get Ponder. Um, the option. Uh, can we actually go with her without getting wrecked? That's from that's my worry though. I hope so. I hope he'll be fine. We'll it see. How let's see how well it goes. Oh yeah, we also need to face Imiko ASAP because she's in Shu Chang. My god, he really got zero troops. Are you kidding me? Oh, there's no officers. <laughs> Alright. Holy shit. Talk about easy game. Oh nice. Perfect. We even get Lubu's team. Play in the background because we're using Lubu, of course. Makes sense. Makes fucking sense. Have the advantage. There is no need for fear. So we can basically go go chill. Oh, this is um, Chen San. That's the that's the the the, the Chen San map. That's where Hao Zhao uh, fought the Battle of Chen of Chen San, where he defended the sea of Chen San. Yeah, I'm pretty much obsessed with Hao Zhao. Uh, I don't know why, but he I just like him historically. I read about Ao Zhao and honestly guys, he's truly a real commander. He's pretty much as good as Sauron, let's be honest. It sucks because he actually did not like get the chance to shine really much. But if Ao Zhao uh, had a chance to shine during the Tsao, during Tsao Tsao's reign, he would have been a general probably compared to Sauron. 
but unfortunately he only oh nice nick dalek with lubu unfortunately hao Zhao only survived uh, so long because he died of illness unfortunately but but Julian really had an hard time against Hao Zhao, and that's all I'm saying. So if Julian had an hard time against somebody, it means he's actually something. So I really don't get why they don't make Hao Zhao a playable character. I really don't understand. I feel like he should be playable. He deserves to be playable. Nobody talks about him. It kind of sucks, really. It really sucks because he he's an amazing card historically, Hao Zhao. Seriously, we're making things so easy now. Any bases that get in By not uh, giving Pong to any no officer. Offense. We give him zero officers, so... All right. It's gonna be easy. To However, this stage is kind of a nuisance, as you guys can see. It's not the best map. These rise until they reach the, heavens. The, the Battle of China map is quite annoying. <clears throat> With lots of uh, obstacles, you know, I prefer small ass maps. Easier. They're easier, really small maps to use. So much easier. But <clears throat> maps like this are absolutely vile. Let me let me tell you. Because it takes ages to to finish them. And I also need to deal with Imiko, and she's in Shu Chang, so you guys know that Shu Chang is like my least favorite map. I mean, uh, it, it uses the, the new FA Castle. The new FA Castle map. So, it's pretty vile. We have taken this base. Oh, yeah, Panda only appears when, uh, Let us our when, we, when we're going to corner him. I will handle it. So, easy, easy. I just hope uh, he's not gonna be too strong for Diao Chan. Because I, I know he's on a really good level. <laughs> but I don't want to get Diao Chan on a really good level, so. <clears throat> I also said I will try to become good and see what happens if we if we become good. Maybe I should I should really do that. I know that becoming evil is probably like the the best. The best thing really, becoming evil. You get lots of advantages being, by being evil. But I want to try and being good in this playthrough. Let's see how it goes. I mean, I want to also lock uh, as many stratagems as possible. That's also another thing why I want to uh, become good. I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Probably it won't have the same advantage as being evil, definitely. I I'm definitely aware of this, but I'm still curious to see. We have taken so let's try place. to become a bit a good boy. We're a good girl. Right on. Let's take that base. And also let's hurry to unlock a fucking horse because as you can see when Any we have to face maps like this, ooh, it's a pain. Now advance. It's a real pain. Alright, I'm going to attack that base. I'm there. glad that in the next Dynasty Wars games you can actually summon the horse regardless. My I'm uh, so fucking glad. <laughs> And that's because the maps uh, became a little bit bigger. It's, it's only because of that. But the summoning option is, was also very necessary, in my opinion, even in games like this. At least in Dynasty Wars uh, 5, because seriously, the ma some maps in Dynasty Wars 5 are truly annoying. But same goes for 3 and 4. I would love to see a, a 3 Empire, so I'm not gonna lie. We have taken this base. I know there's like a mobile game, a very old mobile game, uh, a very, very old mobile game, like uh, during the times of Nokia, I'm talking about, based on Dynasty Wars 3, Any yeah, believe it or not, there was a game like that, destroyed. and uh, no, it's, it's kind of like an Empires, it looks like a very mini prototype of an Empires game, I never played the game, and you, I don't think you can see it, you can find any gameplay, Do not be late for the it's a lost Follow game, me. lost uh, never to... I don't know how you managed to recover it, but if anybody managed to recover that game, uh, I'll be literally praised that person through through the rest of my days. Honestly, I have no idea how you you get him access to that game. I have no fucking idea. I know there, there might be a way, or maybe not. But really, if you can manage to get um, to get that game, it's like called uh, Dusty Wars Mobile. 
But of course now if you look for Dynasty vs Mobile, you will you will find Unleashed, you will find um, the new mobile game, you won't find a Dynasty vs 3 mobile game. It's pretty nuts, I know, it's pretty nuts having a game like that on uh, ancient phones. Believe it or not, it exists. He does exist, it's just too ancient. And I never had the chance to play it, of course. He's only in Japanese, by the way. So, that's another thing that's difficult about that game, is that it's only in Japanese. I would love to see a gameplay. I only saw screenshots. I would literally give everything to see that game. Even seeing gameplays, that would be enough. If playing, then... Uh, oh my god. I will be like the luckiest man alive if I get the chance to play that game one day. But I doubt it. I absolutely doubt it. It's it just it seems like one of those games that are lost through history. So it's not possible. Speed and so will be better, but whatever. We need to be happy with it. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Don't good progress. Uh, please, Panda, join me. Thank God for that. Thank God you join me. Thank God you're joining me, Panda. Hooray. His Highness Already promoted governor. Okay, good. Okay, so we say we will become gold. Show your bananas by distributing a large sum of gold. All right, uh, let's do this. I mean, I know I'm not supposed to do uh, stupid things like this, but seriously, we should uh, try and be good. Okay. Now, who's next? Um, let's see, maybe it's Saobu. I want to focus on the north first. Uh, Shu Chang actually will be great. I want to get rid of Shu Chang. It's up. Like now. Um, hold on. Bond is, pretty, is quite maxed. Lubu is less. Uh, we, we might as well level up Lubu a little bit more than Pond. So let's use Lubu. Okay. Let's get rid of Shu Chang ASAP, because I don't want to deal with it in the future. The enemy is pathetic. Let us get this over with quickly. That's a cool cutscene. Oh look where we start. That's absolutely terrible. Oh my god, this is why I wanted to through this stage ASAP. Now you see why. Yeah. Absolutely irritating the new FA Castle map. Absolutely irritating. I hate it. I hate it so much. God, if I hate it. It's been a while since I heard the uh, Lube Steam from Dusty Wars 3. It's because I, it's been a while since. Uh, well, it's been ages. Since I played but the Vanilla Dynasty Wars 3, I, I only closed. played uh, I only played uh, uh, Extreme Legends recently. No, I had played three Vanilla a lot, but only when I was a kid. When I got Extreme Legends, I never touched the Vanilla versions anymore. Like really, no point. I'm pretty sure everybody had done the same. When they got their hands on Extreme Legends, every like everybody started to not touch 3 vanilla for obvious reasons because okay I got 3 extreme legends I got more content and like, this is the the ultimate version Attack. why would I uh, stick with the vanilla version so I know the vanilla version got like this unique songs well got Lubu's unique team because apparently in 3 extreme legends it changes Lubu's team that's the only difference and the AI, the enemy AI is probably different as well. You know, there's quite a few things uh, of difference between Vanilla and Extreme Legends. Like, the AI changes. They have better difficulty. Like, they got uh, expert difficulty and 
very hard difficulty in 4 and 3. That's what basically the difference. But pretty much the AI is the difference. And some other minor, minor factors, really. This is why it's best to stick with the um, with Extreme Legends. That's all I'm saying, really. It's much better. I prefer the... I honestly prefer the Extreme Legend version of Lubus Team. Dynasty Wars 3. Uh, Extreme Legends Lubus Team is much better. I'm not a fan of Dynasty Wars Vanilla Lubus Team. I'm really not. But to be honest, my favorite Lubus Team, uh, it's... Uh, who was it? I forgot. Uh, oh yeah, it was the one um, from Samurai Wars 2 Empires. That's... The best Lubus team ever. I absolutely love Lubu that Lubus team. Sometimes people forget about that team. Sometimes people, I remember, sometimes people ask me, Can I say, what's your favorite Lubus team? Then I say, Some, the one in Summer Wars 2 Empires. And people were like, uh, oh yeah, I, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, that was absolutely the best Lubus team ever. The one that's available in, in Summer Wars 2 Empires, but that it's based on um, the... the uh, Lubus first team in Dynasty Wars 1. I'm not sure if the um, if it's just a remix or uh, it's like the proper original one, but regardless, I love that. I fucking love Lubus team in Samurai Wars 2 Empires. The one that's inspired in um, the one that's inspired from Dynasty Wars 1. I really love it. Yeah, it's absolutely epic. I don't know why it's an exclusive for Samurai Wars 2 Empires, that team. I really don't understand that. It, it was a very big mistake to make that uh, make that song Samurai Wars 2 Empires exclusive. It just makes no fucking sense. Why would you put that? The soundtrack in Samurai Wars 2 Empires, in a Samurai Wars game, and that's it, never to be heard again. It's such a shame because that was, that, in my opinion, was the best Lubu team ever created, really. And I'm kind of salty. The, we never got to hear that ever again in another Empires game. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, it's only Samurai Wars 2 Empires. This base is mine. Maybe they will add it back in 9 Empires. We'll see about that, but I doubt it. However, though, uh, one thing is for sure. Um, 9 Empires will have a vast uh, amount of soundtrack. Like, it will have every single soundtrack of the uh, of the Dynasty Wars games, probably. You guys are wondering, uh, how did you know that, Kessen? Uh, it's because I have played... Uh, I have played uh, Far Jeng's DLC story. That was the only DLC story I've played, by the way. I know there's like uh, DLC stories, what if DLC stories, from uh, with Far Jeng, Zhongwu, Lu Su, Cao Pi, Zhou Yu, um, Far Jeng. Guoja too, I think. I think there's also Guoja. Yeah, she'll be Guoja as well. Um, I know uh, they also include uh, unique soundtracks, and uh, Fajin's DLC story included new soundtracks from uh, basically every single Empire's games, every single Dynasty Wars game. It was absolutely epic. So, it will definitely include uh, uh, a vast amount of soundtrack, Nine Empires. Definitely, that's for sure. It will. It will definitely will. Uh, about the, the costumes, it will probably include the Dynasty Wars 3 costumes. At least the Dynasty Wars 2 costume, it might, but probably a spill DLC. It's because they, they are available in the, DLC, in the mobile game, so that definitely it will have those. At least the Dynasty Wars 3. I'm not sure it, it, if it will have uh, every other uh, every other costumes from other Dynasty Wars games, but at least it will have the Dynasty Wars 3. For, about that, I am sure. I'm sure about that. It will be a pale DLC though. It will, unfortunately, he won't be Just because we're supply base doesn't mean we're uh, costumes that you have unlocked or they're already available. No, you need to pay for those, I'm afraid. Like Since Dynasty Wars is 7, we always have to pay for DLC outfits. So if you guys uh, probably will probably get mad and salty, but think about it. This is something that, <clears throat> that has been going on since Dynasty Wars 7. The fact that you need to pay for the for other deals, for the costumes this DLCs, is so there's no point getting salty now. We get you could you should probably got salty before be when Dynasty Wars Seven DLC outfits uh, <clears throat> they have been released as uh, as paid DLC. So it's too late now to be salty. I know maybe you guys still uh, have the rights to be salty. I'm also very salty about that. The fact that I have to pay for costumes that. Uh, it could be a good chance for me to play the game uh, by unlocking them. 
by working hard, like we used to do in Dynasty Wars 4, 5, 3, no, actually not 3, sorry. 3 doesn't have, only got uh, a color swap that, that they're available in Extreme Legends, but that's it. And the, the Dynasty Tactics outfit of Lubu and Sun Shen Sheng, which I actually got with artwork. They were up, honestly, Sun Shen Sheng's outfit was absolutely uh, artwork to get, really. It was really hard to get, since you, ne you need to do loads of shit. I love the stick with Lubu. It's we one of my favorite things to do. Lubu's Church 1, in my opinion, is one of the best things ever. There out there I know they sort of added it back, back, this Church 1. You see, with this Church 4, it's his second EX attack. But it's, it's not the same thing, in my opinion. I still hate the Dan Stewart's 9 gameplay. It's it's probably the gameplay I hate the most about Dynasty Warriors. Honestly, it's boring. It's no fun and it's very limited. People will say that Dynasty Warriors 9's gameplay is faster uh, and free. They they probably have smoked something very bad. I don't know what kind of uh, what 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 the hell did you smoke to say such a thing? <clears throat> oh no, this part of my OCD. There we go. Really, I have no idea. What people have been smoking to say uh, stuff like that. It's very stupid. Very, very stupid. To even think that. Like, really. Uh, oh no, where do I put it? Oh shit. Oh, okay. I don't want to run up space, so. We need to keep capturing territories. It is amazing how we have grown. We've come this far. Might as well go all the way. Hmm. All right, we are not done yet. We still got a few territories to conquer. Right now, we only got three uh, territories. We only, but we only have three or two orders. So let's. Uh, Let's keep being good. Let's be good. Let's be a good person. Once again, um, let's go with um, oh, oh. governance. Okay, we're stationed here. Still, like I said, I, I want to focus on the north mostly. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, we need to get gunning. So let's just go. Uh, no, I don't think so. The fan. What territory am I? Uh, is getting attacked? That. This. Uh. Whatever. <laughs> like whatever, man. <clears throat> Let's go with Bond this time. I hope it's not gonna be a huge ass map because Bond is kind of slow. Bond is not to be. Oh, great. Whatever. At least we're gonna get some attributes on this level one weapon. I mean, uh, what, what can I? What can I say? Really? What the fuck can I say? Ooh, this is gonna be annoying. It's gonna be annoying. But whatever. Shappy, oh, it's the, oh, it's the, it's the Shappy map. Well, it's not too bad. We could have got a, a worse map, probably. Where's the main camp, by the way? I need to check the main camp. Oh, it's over there. Okay, okay. We can manage, but uh, unfortunately, Ponda's speed. Uh, is pretty much the worst thing in, in this world. Hey, and I fucking love this outfit of Bonde. All in white, like a Shilian warrior. I'm 
going to attack that base there. Like white and uh, light purple. I love it. I freaking love it. The enemy base. Forward. I freaking love it, man. Move to the attack. Overrun that base. Overrun that base. Oh, this is like the only way to be fast. I can't believe it. Look, is, is you guys think this is acceptable to be this slow? I have no choice. I bet this is like the only way I can I can be as fast as possible. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm doing this correctly, but it's absolutely hilarious what I need to, to do to be a little bit fast. Look at it! Come on! Unbelievable. Um, very fucking livable. Kill him, kill him, kill him. I love his muscle. And you guys wonder why I wanted to use Ponder. Honestly, Ponder is even stronger than Lubu in this game. I know Ponder is a new character, but he, they actually made him broken. Way too broken. Him, uh, Ling, and Ling Tong uh, are among the strongest characters. Yeah, Guan Ping is also really good. Shin size, she's absolutely shit. They actually done a terrible job with Shinsai in this game, at least. Uh, she's absolutely weak. Her fork is absolutely vile. She's bad. Shinsai, in my opinion, she's pretty bad in this game. Like, her gameplay. Why? Because uh, she's serving Saki now. She's not serving you. <laughs> this is why, Machao. Because I, I let Pong serve me. Uh, this is why. There we go. God, you got the answer. You know what I find very cringe, to be honest, with uh, Machao? Uh, no, with Machao, I don't have a problem with Machao, uh, but with Madai, actually. The way Madai calls uh, uh, Machao Young Master, which is in Japanese translated Waka, Waka, it reminds me of fucking Yakuza. When. Uh, I don't know if you guys played Yakuza, but in Yakuza they etch they off Kiryu and the new protagonist Ichiban. They often use the uh, the term uh, Waka to refer to their uh, to their young master. I mean that's pretty that's okay that's accurate uh, to call somebody like that in the, in them days, but because it's more like a like a mafia. Do we call it? like it sounds more like a mafia thing? Waka, young master. But it just doesn't seem right when Madai calls uh, Machao Waka, young master. It, it makes no fucking sense to me. Because he's not anymore the young master. Mada, uh, Machao uh, typically became uh, the ruler of the Shiliang army. So he's not. Oh no, this is probably the worst thing that could possibly happen. But these are really slow. And this was absolutely the icing on the cake. Like, really? Oh, so, Kessin, I see you using Ponde. Here, no problem. Here's uh, some, 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 some nice uh, downgrade for him. There we go. Oh, nice. We'll... Shin Shuan thing is here. That's good. At least the enemy ruler is appeared. So that's good. Holy shit. <laughs> give me a speed boost. I will literally I give a face. kidney to have a speed boost at the moment. Oh my god. Never go. Never use Pounder without an horse, guys. Never. Because this is what happens if you use Pounder without an horse. You, they end up using this tactic on you. And you're screwed. Holy you shit. If it's bad. I don't know why I'm even There's capturing no bases. We have to hold. My god. My fucking god. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Like, come on. Do you guys think it's fair? It's not fucking fair to me. Oh, I hate my life. Like, really. Wait, is that speed boost? Nah. Come on, it, it lasts ages though. That's the problem. He lasts too much. This isn't looking good. A snail will be faster. Who's gonna win? A snail or Ponder? 
Tell me. Not honestly. How about time? But still is slow as fuck. See, there's no much difference, really. Uh, really, I don't understand why they make Pong this slow. This is what I mean. They make the game very... Um, they made the game a little bit unbalanced. By not letting you pick an horse that easily in this game, they automatically made it unbalanced. Not just with chaos difficulty, because you need to have every single card in max. But also, with the fight that if no card to have an horse, only the enemy commander have an horse, and it's a bit unfair. Then the box and the post gives nothing, really. This is another thing I hate about this game. So... This is truly the time to win this. I'm pretty much uh, dislike those things about the game. Oh yeah, Pond, also when Pond uh, is on the horse back, he's broken as fuck. He's pretty much like much, a mini Machao. He's broken. But that's obvious because he's a Shilian warrior. So he make it just makes sense that he's broken on horse back. But here's the fun, t fun fact, <laughs> Pong Day is broken on both ground and on horse back. Machao is not that broken on, on uh, ground, he's alright but not bro truly broken. They made Pong Day stronger than Machao in my opinion. Imagine if Pong Day was playable in Dynasty Wars 4, if he would have been this broken. He would probably have been like Jotai, because Jotai in Dynasty Wars 4 is truly broken. He's the most, probably one of the most broken characters. I don't know when people say Machao is the most broken character, but I can't disagree. Jotai can also be a good a good match. Oh nice, we can capture Machao. Let's hurry up and kill him. We can actually have the Spear of Justice under us. Not bad, not bad. They appear more numerous than I had expected. Alright. Alright. Yeah, right. <laughs> don't copy me. You guys wonder why she's called Shin Shua Feng and not Shin Shua Feng. It's because there was not enough space. For those who recognize my cast and two characters, I mean, not many of you probably recognize them. But, I mean, cast Center is not exactly the most popular game. Even to use my, it's my second favorite game ever. Surprisingly. Fix up our formation. Prepare for the attack. I can see my prey before me. Let's go. Oh, come on, Boo Boo. Okay. We have captured an enemy officer. We captured an enemy officer. So calm. Yeah. Together we're unbeatable. He's so damn calm when he said, We captured an enemy officer. Ooh. I'm gonna sleep with the enemy officer. <laughs> oh, this shit. Right. At least we have obtained stuff. So please give me speed. Give me speed 20. <laughs> give me the speed. <laughs> Only one attribute. Please let it be speed. Horse. Well, it's a ride for someone like Pond having horse plus 20. It's definitely good. Uh, definitely, definitely good. But only one attribute. It sucks. It just sucks having only one attribute, really. Right. We've done some good progress. Please let me get my chow. I don't think I got enough gold. Sucks. Sucks. I don't have enough gold. No. We have to release him. Oh well. We are poor. Because we decided to be a good person. Ah, oh, we even lost the territory. Great. Doesn't matter. I think we it's time for us to form some alliances. Alright, fellow warriors, and I guess this is everything, and I'll catch you guys soon in the next episode. As always, like, subscribe, comment, consider become a member of my channel. Uh coffee time if you wanna watch video reviews, boost a member and ultimate member if you wanna watch exclusive let's play. Um, thanks again, and I uh, hope to see you guys in the next episode. Don't miss it, and stay tuned. Take care.